listen to the north of America, to the central and the south of America, and all I hear are the sounds of fear. Where are my people that would stand up without fear and say the land is set before us? This president is supposed to do what he's doing. Though many are insulted, the reason that he has done the right thing is because I will show myself. America will not save the world. This nation has been called to righteousness. But while men stand in the White House and they would betray the truth and the foundation of this nation I will not give them the privilege of bringing down the forces of hell I shall take Israel again and they shall discover four things up through the summer and they will expose what is happening in the White House and God says they even will bring justice but I will bring out a secret and I will fight myself and ISIS shall begin to tremble at the sound of the trumpet of the Lord Most High. Blow the trumpet! That have prayed for this day. The fear that has come is a stench to me. Something that is in the heavenlies, something that is over this nation right now, has to be pulled down and it cannot be pulled down by Joe Biden. It cannot be pulled down by, by the President of the United States. It cannot be pulled down by politicians. It can only be pulled down by the spiritual leaders that have set their heart towards the kingdom. Not towards failure, but towards the kingdom and said, Now we will pray and whatever spiritual stronghold is over our nation, it will come to an end. I am one of those voices, just one. I mentioned that many churches today are crucified between two thieves. An erroneous false religious system with man-made laws and secular humanism. You know what secular humanism is. We are in the beginning stages of a reformation. Now people have, as I said, have laughed at me about this. And a recovery. And I'm talking about in the church. For what purpose? Apostolic Christianity. To recover apostolic Christianity, we need to return to the basics. The foundations of the first century church. And I want to say something. Somehow the church has skipped the simple. The simple. In search of the sensational. And when I say sensational, I'm referring to the dynamics of spiritual revival and renewal. The fire of God, the signs, the wonders, the miracles. These are very important. But for our desire to have this so much, we have missed the foundations of basic Christian living. No structure, listen to me, no structure can excel the strength of its grounding. It cannot excel the strength of its foundation. Without revelation, the people perish. Without progressive revelation, the people para, which means to go backwards. I'm not about to go backwards. I'm only about to go forward. How many of you ready for that? I was the cool of the day in the garden of Eden. I was the burning bush in the desert. I was the wilderness in Nahum, the prophet's vision. I was the voice in Bilam's donkey. I was the still small voice to Elijah. I am the revelation of Jesus. I am, not me, I'm speaking about that revelation. 
I was the rustling of leaves in the mulberry tree, forcing day to advance and to fight. I was the revelation when I wrote on the wall, Elahi ala la masa. When he wrote, Mene, Mene. Your years are numbered, your days are time, they are over. I was the sword of Gideon and the Lord, the star that guided the wise men, the angel at Abraham's tent, the cleft in the rock. I was the revelation and I am the revelation. The fire and the cloud at Sinai and the tongue of fire on the day of Pentecost. I am that I am. I am the revelation of Jesus Christ. I tell you the story of love. I tell you the story of sorrow. I tell you the story that saves some and the story that destroys other. I am the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'm close to the marriage altar and when the grave opens, I stand nearby. I call the wanderer home. I rescue souls from the deep. I open the lips of lovers and through me the dead whisper to the living. I serve one as I serve all. I am the revelation of Jesus. I open a vista to the universe and after experiencing me, you will feel that there is meaning to life after all. I am the revelation of Jesus. Jesus, we never want you to stop speaking. Show yourself, reveal yourself. Wherever we may be, we will honor you. So we say welcome into this house, into our homes. And thank you for your blessing.